Hey, Coach, kind of a big picture question with Alex Mastromano. Just curious, adapting to a new sport, averaging about 43 yards a punt, obviously had a little bit of ups and downs, but, but just can you speak to, I guess, his consistency this year as far as what he's given for you? Yeah, you know, Alex is... <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, number one, you know, he has tremendous work ethic. Um, every day when he comes out to practice, you can tell he's ready for for whatever his role is going to be that day. Uh, he prepares well. He works hard. He takes a lot of pride in in his craft, and I think that's why you see that that he's more mature than than his football playing experience would would reflect. And I think that's why you see a consistent player out of him. And you know, to me, we've only scratched the surface of what he's going to become. Uh, but I'm really pleased at, at where he's at right now. Hey, Coach, can you just kind of paint the picture of Saturday as you guys learned of the postponement, what you saw, what you thought, and the, the way the players reacted as well? Yeah, just, I mean, from from the, the players' perspective, just disappointment, shock. I mean, I, you know, we were pretty far along in terms of our pregame meal when uh, when they found out that, that we weren't playing the game. Um, so you could just tell by the looks on their faces that they had kind of started to put themselves in that game mode, and uh, they were disappointed about not having the opportunity to do it. You know, as far as, as for me, um, my emotions were almost identical to the players, you know, just – Shocked, disappointed. Um, you know, you wake up, you have a mindset of what you're going to try to get accomplished that day. Um, you know, we went through the staff meeting, we went through the pregame meal um, with really no feel that that there would be a postponement to the game, at least you know, on from what had been communicated to me. Um, so it really was uh, pretty shocking when that came up. You know, there's there's a lot of things about 2020 that are unique, but. You know, I know in the 20 years that I've been doing this, um, even a consideration of a postponement has never been something that I've been a part of. So uh, when it actually happened and it played out that way, it was it was uh, a lot of emotions because um, a lot gets invested into those game weeks and and uh, you're looking forward for that opportunity to play. Coach, you had that tweet Saturday about narrative's narrative, and even like notwithstanding the situation Saturday, how do you think that applies to your season this year? I mean, you've talked about if you're focused on results and your process and growth, like that doesn't apply. Like, can you apply that to the team this year? Um, I would I would be careful going outside of what you know I was really meeting and what I really was was saying in any of that was like people are going to have their feelings on on the way things are going and. Um, but there's some people that know truly what happened, and I'm I'm only speaking from our perspective. Like I don't know anything that was happening on, in the other locker. I'm sure they have feelings too, and I know they do. But just from our players' perspective and our coaches' perspective, um, you know, we had we were we were excited about the opportunity to play the game, no matter what else is being felt or said or thought out there. And when that didn't get a, a chance to happen, um, you know, everybody was disappointed about it, and. Um, you know, the, the God's plan part was referring to that we control things that we can control, but we're ultimately not in control of these things. And, uh, you know, not to get on a side religious discussion, but, um, you know, that that's really what it was meant by. Did you, have you had, did you have conversations with uh, Janaris or, or Josh or any of the guys like helping them work through their emotions at that time? Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, we we spoke with them as a group, and then I spoke individually with several guys. Um, really, just you know, there was a lot of different things moving quickly. You know, one was, you know, the concern about parents who were traveling to the game. You know, making sure that they were aware before that they made that commitment of coming that what was going on. I mean, there was there was a lot of things that kind of all happened at once. You know, these guys are older players. You know, like uh, J. Rob and Kando and the guys that you asked about. I mean. They they wanted that opportunity because it's a it's a tremendous opportunity for them to showcase their skills against one of the best teams that, that we have an opportunity to play. Um, so uh, there was a lot of emotion that was wrapped up in it, and uh, you know the the one on one conversations will kind of keep keep uh, between us. But uh, they were definitely disappointed and and uh, you know wish that they would have had the opportunity to get it done. Then. During this process, you know, Florida State is, and Coach Norvell talked about it, Florida State's kind of gone above and beyond uh, with some of the protocols and some of the things you guys have requested of the players. Um, 
has that been challenging at time? I mean, I would assume that they hear maybe what other schools are able to do or other, you know, programs are doing and handling that. How has that been a difficult process throughout the year? Uh, I wouldn't say it's been difficult. I think uh, one of the main focuses that we have here is that we try to control the things that we can control, and that's our response and our behaviors and and everything that we're we're faced with. And uh, we do ask a lot of our guys. Our guys did not leave uh, Tallahassee when when we had bye week. Um, our guys um, are kept out of the building if they have anything that is even remotely close to being. Uh, you know, a sickness. So um, there are some sacrifices that go along with that. Um, but I think that's also why we've had the the level of success we have in terms of containing, um, you know, what is, you know, obviously a, a global pandemic. Anything else for Coach? 